Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for the 22nd of June. This is for all signs. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And uh, don't forget to join me on Wednesdays, uh, me and my great peeps, to go live to do a look in on all the zodiac signs and to do the random reading live. You can also check out my website. Uh, for the services, pricing, merchandise, all that good stuff at strengthandwisdom1.webs.com. Okay, let's see what's cracking lacking. For the 22nd. Oh, we got two of them. Hmm. Someone's trying to come out of the cold here. You get the Five of Pentacles in reverse. In the upright, it's feeling shunned, blocked, black sheep, the outside looking in. Could be a financial pinch. But something's coming out of the doghouse. And then you have the seven of wands, but in reverse too. So in the upright, this is somebody who could be defensive. You know, backing up what they say on higher ground. But somebody's putting their defenses down. And it could be because they need to be a little bit less defensive if they want to be accepted back in the circle. Coming in from the doghouse. Hmm. It could be that somebody was so guarded that they pushed people away, so they kind of like excluded themselves. Hmm. So what do we have to go on with this? Whoa, that one came flying out. Hmm. Because somebody's been waiting for a while. Now you have the nine of wands. Someone's been in the battle for a while. Nine's being close to a ten. Somebody waited for somebody to bring that their walls down, I think. Now, this could also be the person that was put on the outs. They waited to be accepted back in. And I'm, I'm hearing willing to talk. Waiting for somebody to put their guard down. Could have been on finances. Now you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Quang card in reverse. And in the upright, this is having it all. Money you pay your bills, the money you have fun with, harmonious family dynamic. But in the reverse, it could be chaotic. A lack of funds, and there's also a lack of finance here too with the five. Hardship. Maybe put somebody on the defense. Maybe somebody is willing to work with somebody instead of working against them. Hmm. As soon as I said that, there's the sun card. The Leo card. The most positive card there is. Positive things happening. Glasses half full, so they have empty, I feel. There is a positive side to the situation. If somebody puts their defenses down. I still feel, you know, work to work together to discuss, talk things out. Somebody might have to get off their high horse. Okay. Come back down to reality. Hmm. Oh, that's too many. These two came out. So we have the seven of cups here. This is about choices, options. And in the Gilded Tarot, everything looks pretty good. Right under the five of pentacles in reverse. So there's more than one way to come out of maybe a financial pinch. Or come out from the cold. And then you have the Hierophant, the Taurus card. Having faith, having hope, higher institutes of learning. Doing things traditionally, doing things by the books. Doing things the right way, that's right under the seven of wands in reverse. Doing things a practical way, maybe. Hmm. Because now we have the six of wands. We get a lot of fire energy here, but the six of wands is on its side. Now in the upright, that would be overcoming a battle and being victorious. 
going to be Verse, who will be still in the battle. No victory has been won yet. But when it's on its side, and it's right under the nine, I think it's all the way this person looks at it. That there can be a victory here. Maybe if two people work together, or if one hears the other person out. All hope's not lost. I mean, there's choices, there's options to to aid or to help. That's too many. Someone could be, be being stubborn. I just heard drama. No, there's no way to get out of this. Yes, there is. Slow your roll a little bit here. Someone's waiting for maybe somebody to collect themselves and then they can do something the right way. The traditional way, conventional way. Bring back order. Again, it's all how this person looks at it. If your glass is half full, you'll get through it. Now we have the page of cups here. Here's a messenger of something heartfelt, something sentimental. It could be an apology or it can be a compliment. But it comes straight from the heart. So somebody offers some, some either good advice, offers their help, offers to be there with them, even though somebody was pushed away. They haven't gone anywhere, not with the nine of wands. Someone doesn't have to feel alone or abandoned. Whoops. Where'd that go? Let's take a look. <laughs> ah. It's a tower in reverse. Avoiding a disaster. And the upright just comes out of the blue. Left field. But in the reverse, there's a way to get around something so it's not so disastrous. Bottom of the deck, ooh, get the moon. Moon likes to hide things. Lies, secrets, deception. But it's also about fear, fear of the unknown. Like I always said, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's not there. Somebody might not be feeling they have a safety net. And remember, this could be friendship, partnership, you know, career, family. And it can be that they may be too stubborn to go into the unknown, to explore something else, other avenues, other, other options. Hmm. So let's get in it. We have somebody who wants to come out from the cold, get out of maybe a financial pinch. This person has to let their guard down. Can always be right, I just heard. And somebody here is waiting and waiting for a while maybe for somebody to put their defenses down maybe when somebody is approachable you know so they can talk because there is some sort of loss here and it can be in a you know family dynamic as well where things can be chaotic somebody here is definitely looking at the positive not the negative here and there is a positive way. There are choices. There are options. And it can be done the right way, traditionally. I just heard no quick schemes. And there could be a victory here. Because it came in outside. It's going to take some work. But there is light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. And I think that somebody is offering some help, some guidance. Could be a friend, a spouse, significant other. But this person is offering, so something doesn't have to be disastrous. It doesn't have to be, you know, the end of the world. And maybe they should, you know, maybe get a hold of their fear. Maybe. Their intuition, let their intuition guide them. I just heard blurry waters. 
Just because it's not crystal clear doesn't mean that it won't come clear. Okay, so let's break this one down, folks. There are options and there are choices on how to either regain financially or to come out of the cold. Somebody wants to do the right thing by the books, straight up. If somebody just puts their defenses down. You know, and there could be a victory here and somebody has been waiting patiently maybe to show somebody how to be victor victorious in a situation or to be with somebody to be victorious. And even though there could be a drain of finances or chaos in a family, somebody is offering something heartfelt here. Their support, their friendship, because there's a way to avoid a disaster altogether and a positive outcome here. They have to trust their intuition. Put some trust, you know, in the universe. And be more positive like the sun card. Because what the moon likes to hide, the sun likes to reveal. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.